Interesting question to ponder. Is the state of New Jersey about to crack down on that high school where a 14-year-old took her own life earlier this month after she got bullied. It appears Governor Murphy is keeping all options on the table after more charges were brought against one of the four girls accused in this case. And now Governor Murphy is raising the question about who should be in charge of running Central Regional High in Bayville. With the latest on this story, here's Iowa News reporter Donna Miles. It t rips your heart out and it, it's extremely angry. Governor Murphy Thursday weighing in on the heartbreaking death of 14 year old Adriana Kutch. The Bayville High School student died by suicide two days after this video of her being attacked was posted on social media. One of the four teens involved today faces upgraded charges of conspiracy to commit aggravated assault in addition to charges previously filed by the Ocean County Prosecutor's Office ranging from harassment to aggravated assault. It's an awful, awful, it's an awful tragedy. I can't uh, express uh, that more strongly. It's just awful. This precious little girl, her family, the, the, it feels like a culture of bullying. That culture of bullying attracting hundreds to a school board meeting last week. The widespread allegations and outrage may now prompt the state to revisit its existing anti-bullying laws. I was asked, uh, basically, is everything on the table? And the answer is it has to be on the table. Now that's separate from the law enforcement channel, which is being led by the Ocean County prosecutor. The fallout forcing the Bayville school superintendent to step down, but he will continue to earn nearly $200,000 this year. This even after disclosing personal information about Cooch after her death. When you hear that the superintendent after what he didn't do and then said is still on the payroll is outrageous. Still, Murphy believes New Jersey has the strongest anti-bullying laws in the country. Though after the death of Adriana Kutch, many will disagree. It's pretty clear we need to do more, and we're open-minded to doing more, I promise you. Darla Miles, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.